Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today for STEAM Monday. My name is Miss Julie and I work for the Schenectady County Public Library. Today's program is about ancient Egypt. So as you can see, the library and all of its branches have a lot of books about ancient Egypt and they're all so very interesting and really cool. Some of the books have overlays so that you can see what the ancient pyramids look like or different tombs. But today we are going to be learning a little bit about hieroglyphics, which was the ancient Egyptians alphabet. And we are going to be writing messages using this alphabet. We're specifically going to be writing messages on what's called a cartouche. So this is what we're going to be making in our program today. Before we get started with our project, I wanted to give you a little bit more information about what a cartouche is. So in ancient Egypt, there were kings or pharaohs. So if you were to take a book out from the library like this, which is one of our eyewitness books on mummies, you would see inside all sorts of different um, mummies and tombs and pictures of hieroglyphics. But I want to draw your attention specifically to this one right here, which is also on the back of the book. If you can see that, there is that tiny little circle there that's drawn sideways. That is a cartouche. So the cartouche is only reserved for kings or pharaohs, and it was their name. So it would highlight to the people that this specific thing they were looking at was about royalty. So you are going to be making your own cartouche. So if you reserved a grab and go bag from the library, inside you will find a piece of cardboard that's shaped like a cartouche, a gold piece of paper that's going to go over top of it once you write your message or your name on it, and a shiny piece of black paper. This black paper is actually a sticker and it's going to go on the bottom of your cartouche. Lastly, in your little grab and go bag, you're going to have this little piece of paper. This is the hieroglyphic alphabet that you're going to be using. You might notice that not every single letter is represented here because you're going to be writing your name phonetically or how it sounds. So you're not going to maybe have every single letter that you have in your name. Some supplies that you're going to need at home that are not in your bag are glue, a sharpie, and a pair of scissors. So if you did not get a grab and go bag, you can still do this craft. The alphabet is going to be posted online for you to use and you can just cut it out on a piece of paper and use it that way. So what we're going to do with your piece of paper is you are going to draft or um, practice what you're going to write on the back. So the first step is you're going to take your cartouche and you are going to trace it on the back of your alphabet page. So let's do that right now, okay? And it doesn't have to be perfect, you're just practicing. All right, so this is what mine looks like so far. And then you're going to have to decide what you're going to write on your cartouche. So this one that I made before has my name. It says Julie on it. But this time I think I'm going to do the word read. So I'm going to need the R, the E, the A, and the D. So I'm going to sketch all four of those letters out on the back of this paper. So once you have your practice cartouche done, you're going to take your gold paper and you're going to just copy that on there. If you'd like, you can do it in pencil first or you can just use marker. I suggest doing pencil first so that you don't mess it up, but I did put two gold pieces in the bag just in case. So once you're ready, just transfer it onto this. As you notice, I put a circle around my cartouche. That's supposed to represent rope. Most cartouches had this circle encircling the name of the king or the pharaoh to signify that it was eternal. 
So once you have that done, you're going to take your piece of cardboard and you are going to glue your gold cartouche to the front of it. And then you're going to take your shiny black paper and it's going to go on the bottom of your cartouche. Are you ready? So there you have it. You've made your very own cartouche. So please make sure that you take pictures and that you post them in the comments below so that we can see your cartouche and then you can even try and decode each other's and figure out what they say. So remember, mine says read. Also, please make sure that you're a member of our Facebook page so that you can see upcoming events. Next week's Steam Monday, we are making robot hands and I wanted to show you what they're going to look like. This is what we are going to be doing next week. So you are going to make your own robotic hand that can move. So if you'd like to join in, just watch the video, but you can also call and reserve a grab-and-go bag with all the materials you'll need for the program. Again, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day.